Hey guys, today we're going to learn a very interesting topic, computational fluid dynamics. I'm using ANSYS 19.2 here. You can use any other software which you prefer. First of all, in this module, we will look up into a very basic things in CFD. If you have a good idea about fluid dynamics, actually what I mean is the basic idea of continuity equation, momentum equation and energy equation which are the three conservations of flow navier stoke equation laminar flow and turbulent flow then you are most welcome in this video if you are not good at these terminologies i would suggest you to go through any fluid mechanics or heat transfer related books or related course after watching this video because it will help you to understand what are the situation you should look for and as you know, CFD is always a very cool thing. If you want to show your class or your coolness in front of your classmates or your professor, then it will be a very terrific tool to prove yourself. And now you know CFD is an engineering tool used to simulate action of thermal flares in a system. And normally it is used by many industries in their development works to analyze, optimize and verify the performance of design before costly prototype and physical testers. For your better understanding, I am presenting some cool results in CFD. Let's have a look. Now we'll look up into a hard definition of CFD. Don't worry about this definition. I will explain this terminologies in a simpler word. Let's have a look. CFD is a branch of fluid mechanics that uses numerical analysis to analyze and solve the problem that involves fluid flows. I think these words are truly understandable and computers are used to perform this calculation required to simulate flow of the fluid and the interaction of the fluid with the surface defined by the boundary conditions. And the three keywords are in the red color, you know, first one is numerical analysis, second one is fluid flow and third one is boundary conditions. I believe you have a good idea about what numeric analysis is and what fluid flow means. I actually want to try to explain you guys about boundary conditions only. You know, this is a cross section of a cylindrical pipe. Water is entering from the left side and will leave from the right side. The upper and the lower surface are the frictional surface. Uh, no slip conditions are applied. U and V equals to zero. U means velocity in X direction and V means velocity in Y direction. And in the lower side as well. And in the inlet part, the velocity in x direction assumed to be constant value and the velocity in y direction is zero. And in the right side, which called outlet part, we are assuming the atmospheric pressure is applied. So these are the boundary conditions. Now let's go to the main topic. In safety, three conservations law governs fluid flow. These three conservations law are non-linear and these are, you know, continuity equation momentum equation and energy equations. I believe you are smart enough to understand these equations. Now, mathematical formulations of this law leads to the governing equations. Normally, we used to solve these governing equations by using partial differential equations, but hence the software do it by using integral equations. And obviously these equations are non-linear and coupled. The necessary formulas are given in the tabular form. I wish and I believe you are smart enough to understand this, these formulations. I'm not going to explain these formulas. These are tricky formulas. As I have already mentioned that these equations are non-linear and coupled. Manually, it can be solved exactly for a small number of special cases. But using CFD software, it can be solved approximately using numerical method on a computer. One thing that I should mention the numerical method which we will use to solve this in ANSYS is newton raphson method. The technique we will use to solve this governing equation is finite volume method which is called FVM. ANSYS Fluent uses it as to many other commercial safety decoders. For instance, M-scale, you know, console and, and so on. The basic idea of finite volume method is it divides flow domain 
into little chunks or you can call it as cells. Let me give an example. Fluent will apply the conservation's law using integral form in each and every cell. And I have already told you before that this is a cross section of a pipe and we divided this pipe into several portion or you can call it a cell. And for each L, we have integral equations. Those are nonlinear equations. These nonlinear equations are converted into a system of algebraic equations, you know, by using Newton Raphson method in ANSYS. It will be clear to you if you know how Newton Raphson method works. Currently, CFD technology can handle realistic geometry and complex physics. In simpler word, you can use CFD to analyze fluid and heat transfer related problems. You can predict the flow path of a fluid particle, their velocity control, the pressure control, and the temperature control as well. Actually, there are so many things to explore. I am indicating a velocity control. For instance, the behavior of a fluid particle in a heat exchanger can be analyzed by using CFD.